G'day everybody, how you going? It is so good to see you. Now last year, 2021, we were all so excited in the lead up to the arrival of the Z9. The Z9's here now, and I have had the good fortune to spend the last three months working with this extraordinary machine across all types of photography, whether it's portraiture, event, sports, wildlife, and so on, even shooting the moon. I've done it all with this camera, and it literally, seriously, does not let you down. But a camera like this doesn't come from nowhere. It doesn't just come out of space and arrive. How do we get here? And if we look across, this is my journey with Nikon's professional level cameras, starting 25 years ago with the Nikon F5, then moving to the D3. Now I had the D3 before I had the D3S. I sold my D3, sadly, because I believe the D3 moment was one of the absolute biggest moments for Nikon ever. But I am gonna go on to tell you how the Z9 is even bigger. After the D3, hiding here, we can see is the D4. But here we have basically a 25 year evolution. And at the end here with the Z9, well, I would consider it a revolution. The Z9 turns everything before it absolutely on its head. But let's look at the things that are the same. And we can see here, the ergonomics remain very much the same. Even something as simple as the angle of the trigger, which I find is something that I really notice when I first play with a camera, is the actual angle that the firing trigger, the firing button is at. This is something that Nikon perfected a long time ago, probably before the F5, but the F5, F4 is where we first started to see this sort of body. Now, of course, let's take film out of the equation and we are left with the D3 and the Z9. D3S in this particular case. The battery on my D3S died a very long time ago, but I, I, I went out and I was looking, I was looking for a new battery and I was like, I can find all of these third party options, but I'm not sure. In the end, I decided to reach out to Nikon and just buy a new genuine Nikon battery for the D3 and they actually still have them. So that's an amazing level of support. There we go. There's a working D3 with a brand new battery and we probably won't hear much from the Z9. Yeah, it's firing, but I have it on quiet. And as we can see here, they're, they're similar. Even when it comes down to the buttons here, the buttons here and the buttons here, just so much stays the same. About 15 years ago, the D3 arrived and from my perspective, created the D3 moment.
absolutely epic. This for me was the first time a digital camera actually felt like film. And not only did it feel like film, it was Nikon's first full frame 35mm sensor as we move from the D2X, which was APS-C. And it also had fantastic high ISO performance for that era. As I've planned for quite a long time, as I was trying to get the battery for this for a while, I will be pitting these two against each other just to see how well the D3 still performs. I think the Z9 will show it up from most perspectives, obviously it's a 15 year newer camera, but it'll be really interesting to see how the 12 megapixel sensor fares against the 45 megapixel sensor for dynamic range and high ISO. There might not be that much in it, I'm not sure. We will see. But the D3 heralded a new era for Nikon. It showed us professionals and enthusiasts and everybody else that Nikon was still in the game. Canon had streaked ahead a little bit. They were still delivering and they could still give professionals best, the absolute best available at the time. And the Nikon D3 from an, a high ISO and dynamic range perspective and the cameras that came after it continued to be high ISO and for some of them, high dynamic range monsters. And this set the benchmark for the next decade or so. There is so much about the Z9 that simply really doesn't have much to do with a DSLR. Obviously, the mirror box is gone. That is a massive change. You don't have this mirror that has to flip up and down and get out of the way all the time. Also now, the shutter is gone. That is the shutter for taking photographs. We obviously have a much more lower performance shutter that's simply there to protect the sensor. So already there is so much that is different about this camera. It has what we believe is the fastest 35mm reading out sensor in the game at the moment. This is different from everything we've seen before. It also shoots 8K video and with a firmware update that's going to be coming sometime soon, who knows when, it's going to do even more. We know a few things that's in it like 8K60, but I'm sure there's going to be more than 8K60. So here it is, the Z9 moment. I do believe this is the most important and the most impressive camera that Nikon has ever delivered. And after three months of using it and using it in every situation, and it does things that a D6 can't do, simply because of megapixels, simply because of frame rates, and simply because of that 8K video. And it does things a D850 cannot do, simply because of all of that speed. It is just so fast, simply because of that focus system. It's like something that we've never seen before. For example, I had the camera set to animal detect because I was shooting some animals for a video coming very soon. And lo and behold, I'm trying to photograph humans and it's like it's not photographing. What's, what's going on? It's not working. And of course, I still had it set on animal. So this is the Z9 moment. It is the biggest moment in Nikon's career. To the best of my understanding, this camera is selling like hotcakes. And then beyond that, What's beyond the Z9? I recently saw an article, I think it was on Petapixel, and this was about a patent application for Nikon creating a sensor which would be both a global sensor and a rolling sensor. In other words, the old style sensor that scans and we get the jello effect and a sensor which is a global sensor, which theoretically will capture the entire sensor in an instant, in a moment in time. Now, if it is possible for Nikon to make a sensor which does both, so in certain applications, you might want the global shutter because you're shooting something ultra fast and you don't mind if you lose a little bit of dynamic range because that seems to be an issue from what I'm reading because of that global shutter. And then you can flick back to a rolling style shutter when you want a different higher dynamic range type of photography. It just continues to make a machine like the Z9 even more powerful than it already is. So what's interesting to me is I feel like with this camera, I have got everything I could ever need. And really the only things that I continue to talk about with all digital cameras 
is I would like higher ISO, more dynamic range. I always talk about that. You can see it across all my videos. That's, that's all I want. Every other aspect of this camera is done. There's absolutely no question in my mind, we are here living right now in a Z9 moment. This is the most powerful, most exceptional moment that I have seen from Nikon with their photographic technologies. And it can only get better from here. And we can only believe that they are continuing research and development to improve beyond what we've already got. And it's just gonna get more and more exciting from here. This is the Z9 moment. If you haven't picked up one and played with it yet, do yourself a favor and go and do that. Please do let me know in the comments below, have you experienced a Z9 yet? Whether you're buying one or not, have you managed to find one and get it in your hand? I think there's no way you can really understand it until you use it. Fantastic to see you today. And look, if this is your first time here, I would love to see you again. So please do subscribe, please share, and please do like. It means so much to the channel. And of course, another great way to support the channel is channel membership and also jumping on my website. We send prints all over the world, beautiful photography taken with this gear and so much of all of my gear, all of this gear over the years, all of these amazing, beautiful Nikon things. So yes, the Z9 moment, it's very, very real. And three months in, I think I'm still getting more excited every time I just go out and get to use it. It's just great. All right, see you later.